like to show you how to make these adorable and very fun little snails. I'm using air dry clay but you can also use Fimo clay for this project and you're going to work the clay into a sphere. Then with some kind of tool you're going to crease the sphere but it doesn't need to you just want a little a little indent you don't want it to go all the way through. Now let's move over to the wire. Now this is called a pipe cleaner or a fuzzy stick or a chenille stick, whatever you call it. You're going to create it into a V to start out with. Pull back each part of the V's um, until you make an M. Now the edges of the M are a little bit shorter than the V part of the M. It should look something like this. Go ahead and hold on to the lower half like I am here, kind of pinching it together, and then you're going to twist those two together. I'm using a stick to assist me to get a better twist, and then the last couple of twists I use um, just my fingers to make it nice and tight. You'll do this to both sides of the wire. Now we're going to take that V and we're going to um, twist the lower half again. So pinching it and twisting the top, and this should create something that looks kind of like the letter Y just like that. Now we're going to take our clay and that crease that we've made earlier, we're going to place the Y right in there. The important part is that we get these edges inside the clay. That's going to help protect um, students when they're playing with this little snail. Okay, go ahead and press this clay together around the wire. Um, try to get rid of your seam and then shape the shell. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just want something that kind of looks like a snail. If you used Fimo clay for this, I found out that you can cook these in the oven no problem. So 275 for 15 minutes and the, the wire was just fine and the clay hardened so it was perfect. Now I had these snails at every station so some of the snails I just left without eyes so I didn't have to worry about something falling apart. But um, some of them became a little bit more interesting when you added some googly eyes. So whatever style of snail you're looking for, you can create these snails were a hit in my classroom.